Good morning, everybody. We are doing our, I don't even know anymore, third session? Second session? I don't know. I don't care. It's super fun. But we're going to do another Coffee and Canvas live. Anyways, um, I'm sorry. I get enthralled with my coffee. It's very important to me, and I love it, and it's full of wonderful things, and it's got CBD in it with nano drops and organic sulfur that I love and I use every day and I've taken in my coffee and it's so wonderful it just makes me smile anyways um, I wanted to share with you guys a piece that I've been thinking of about with pumpkin and a little crow on it I have had I don't know a few people ask me to do crow pieces and it's it's odd because I really thought I was the only one that really liked the bird. I know there's such a stigma with crows and, you know, passing and all these different things, but I have, they're, they're sentimental to me. So anyways, um, I'm going to attempt, I shouldn't say attempt, I'm going to do, right, this really cute piece. So I always like to paint on the back of my current canvases. I don't like to waste things and why not it's wood canvas and I can reuse it it's wonderful all right so hoping that that everybody can see that whole piece right here we go okay so I start my canvas all right got my little cup of cup of water all right my big brush Good coat of water on there. I love these coffee and canvas sessions. I'm also, I'm super excited to tell you guys, I am going to be creating some shirts and some jean jackets. I'm going to be doing some pop art on some jean jackets for some youngsters that I know. A special young lady. Her name, well, I won't tell you her name, but she's super special and she's a sweetheart and she's adorable and I just love her and she works so hard and she's very intelligent. But I asked her, I said, hey, what do you think about this idea? And she said, oh my gosh, I would love it. So probably my next Coffee and Canvas session will be a piece on a jean jacket. How cool is that? Well, she can wear it. I'm just so excited about the idea. I'm just so excited you guys have that just I think it's gonna be so cool I can't wait for it to turn out the way I envision it okay so I have my little palette All right I'm going to add some brown base I'm gonna do this pumpkin Got some orange some white definitely need more white Good morning everybody I'm also super happy to tell you guys about the um, live, well, I shouldn't say live, I should say it is going to be live, but we're doing kind of like a, like a webinar type, type thing where I'm going to be doing, sending out links to everybody that prepays because I have a lot of people and a lot of family out of state, um, people that are super bummed, but they're traveling that they're excited about. Right? They're traveling, they're moving, they're, they're changing their lives, which is wonderful, but they still wanted to paint with me. So I came up with a really cool idea that we'll be doing these live interactions, but it's going to be a prepaid type deal. I can always send out canvases to you guys if you need them. Um, all that good stuff. We can always send out the supplies to you. If you can't get what you want, I can always get it for you. You'll just pay, prepay for all that good stuff. And I will put all that information on our Facebook page and our website and our Instagram page. I'm super happy about the idea. I'm really excited about that. So here I'm creating this wood plank background. I love that whole rustic kind of vibe for the fall, right? Especially for little pumpkins. I think it's cute. It's adorable. My dad says, don't use the cute word. It's, it's a four letter word. It's funny like that. I 
dad is an extremely talented artist. Yes, it does definitely run in the family. My mom bakes. You, I always told her when I was a kid she should open up her own bakery. But things happen. She took care of us instead. Right, Mom? <laughs> so we want the background a little lighter. All right, and I usually go side to side with the grain of the wood, but this piece is calling for a landscape type angle with the canvas. So I don't really have to worry too much about this little corner area because I'm going to be painting over it. But I do want the top part to be good. I don't want that to look like wood planks. Good morning, Miss Angel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Good way to start your day, right? With some piece of painting and copies and canvases. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Good morning, Miss Dawn. Mmm. Love my coffee. Okay. So that's the base that I want to work with here. Now I'm going to change my brush and I'm going to go to a medium brush. I'm going to add in. Let's see, do I want to. I think I'm going to do thirds. I think I like that. I kind of like that idea because I don't want the background to take away from the actual pumpkin itself, right? So I'm going to darken up these edges. Put them in here. I'm actually going to add a little bit of black in there too, just to give it a little bit of a shadow line between those fence posts, fence panels I should say. Alright, now I'm going to individualize each one of these boards. Like wood green. Give it some knots. Dad loves to teach people how to do knots. It's his thing. He loves it. I also like to kind of spin my brush in my hand and gives it a little bit of a wood green texture. <laughs> So what's your favorite part about painting in general? Do you love the individual, the creativity, freedom? What is it about painting? What is it about art that you love? Is it spending time with friends? I like seeing everybody's eyes light up, thinking that they can't do it, and then they end up doing exactly what I'm teaching them. That's always fun for me. Love the creative freedom. It's turned into like an art therapy for a lot of people too, which is beautiful because it's cheaper. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Add in a couple little knots here. to take too much away from the actual piece that we're working on here so I don't worry too much about it all right now it's pumpkin time miss dawn it's so true it always looks good right your paintings always turn out wonderful hmm Okay, so 
so now it's time to get down to dirty. This is usually when I tell my, my painters, my adult painters, you know, the more you drink, the looser your brush is. Never drink your paint water and don't dip your brush in your wine. Right? That's always that's always good advice. So what I want to do is create this pumpkin with this really pretty stem coming across, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little crow on it. Like it's it's just perched right up on that pumpkin. So the angle of the pumpkin, I don't want it to make it look like it's reaching, right? So we're gonna actually come in with these oval shapes here. And I want it to be big enough to where, <coughs> excuse me, where it's obvious that it's a giant pumpkin, strong enough to hold up a crow, right? We don't want it to t overtake the whole piece. Usually, I have to do this kind of stuff at home because I jam through it. I know exactly what I want, but I'm going to go a little slower today because I want you guys to see every little thing that we do. All right? Sometimes people, how do I do that? How do I do this? How do you make it look so easy? I've been doing this a long time, you guys. I've been an artist my whole life. I went to school. I got a degree. I love, love, love doing this. But let me tell you, it takes a lot of practice. And it doesn't just, you know, happen overnight. With some people, they struggle with it. And that's normal. That's normal stuff. Um... You just have to practice at it and, you know, take your time and every piece of art is going to be different from the next. It, it's just the way it is, you know, everybody has a different brush stroke, everybody has different style, everybody has different views and that's one of my favorite things about doing this is seeing how creative people can be and it really helps um, open up kind of different pathways in your brain too. To be honest with you, it's really cool. I should have been an art therapist, right? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe someday when I grow up, I will be. All right. I like that. I like the shape of it. It's got some pretty shadowing. <laughs> it's probably part of it Don. the fear maybe maybe a catalyst to your creativity right <laughs> that's funny Black can be very dominant. Sometimes you can use just a little too much of it. But the cool thing is you can let it dry and paint over it. Or just soften it up with the current color that you're working with. Soften those edges right up. Okay. 
that. I think that's pretty. Maybe there's some shadow on the bottom here. Okay, <clears throat> more coffee because it's very important. Mm. Love it. Now I'm going to work with my stem. I want the stem to be dried. Basically, that's going to be brown tones and a little bit of black in there, right? So we want it, I know it's against a brown, that's why you need to darken it up a little bit. Good morning, Miss Pam. Welcome, welcome to our little paint session with coffee and canvases. I love seeing that. It's so fun. It's a great way to start your Wednesday, right? My palette quite heavy because of all the years of paint buildup it has on it. Hello, I could totally make a new one, but there's something about um, a unique palette that I really enjoy painting on. Okay, now we're going to put in our little leaves. Put some highlights in these first. Just a little here and there. I just grab, keep that current paint color. I don't really wash my brush off. I don't do that a lot. I like to keep those colors and those pigments kind of together. They complement each other. Alright. here and there. All right. 
to add some dry leaves. We could always change it up. I mean, we don't have to put the crow in there. Um, I do want to, but I also kind of like the way this is turning out, just like it is. I can always put like happy harvest in there or give thanks, something cute, some kind of little quote. Um, my leaves coming in here, put a little bit of water on my brush. Water is your friend when it comes to canvas. I'm going to put some orange in these bad boys too here. Just to give it a little contrast. Let's see. Try not to make them look like little little claws. <laughs> Trust me, that happens sometimes. Well, let's do it right here. It's pretty. It's what do you guys think? Should I add Happy Harvest or should I put the bird in there? at it for a minute. I think I'm going to put the bird. I'm going to put the bird. Why not? That's what I planned on. That's what I should do. So I'm going to start with a little tiny brush. I'm going to come in here and just put a little crow on here. Just put a little crow on here. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see the whole thing here.
Blackbird. That's cute. I need to give it some little claws perched up on that stem. See, even for me, it bleeds. And well, that's okay. Sometimes it happens. Okay guys, that's it. What do you think? You like it? My little harvest bird, beautiful pumpkin. I know it might not mean very much to some people, but it means a lot to me. I'm super sentimental when it comes to crows. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it someday. <laughs> Anyways, that is our morning session coffee and canvas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Are you going to have a class for this piece? Of course I'm going to have a class for this piece. I just wanted to share with you guys the process. Miss Denise, of course. I love doing this, you guys. I, I really hope that it helps you guys, you know, stay calm and relaxed and opens up your mind to creativity and different things. And, um, I'm definitely creating some apparel. I'm so excited because this stuff is all handmade, all customized, all individualized for anybody that wants me to do an art piece on their jeans or jackets or shoes, um, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna make some t-shirts today that's all hand painted. I'm gonna do my um, coffee and canvas logo that I've created. Um, I have my loose brushes logo shirt on right now. I'm super excited about that one. I took an old t-shirt that is extremely comfortable for me. Um, and I just, I just went at it and I got creative and I threw some paint at it and, you know, made my own little stencil and just, just made it happen. I make it happen. I, I do that all the time, you guys. And I, I hope you guys enjoy the process and, you know, let me know if you guys want to purchase any clothing or if you guys have an old you know jacket that you don't want or an old jean jacket or a pair of pants that you're just they're worn out and tired but you just love them and you want to do something different to it i can always throw some stuff together for you um we can always work out pricing especially to my my loyal painters that constantly come paint with me i love you guys all very much and i hope you have a wonderful day i hope you guys enjoyed this um, session with our coffee and canvas this piece will be 
an event class type painting. I have no idea when. I have to look at my calendar because I got so much going on and it's always a beautiful thing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Bye.